Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and today we're out at the range with this little revolver from EMF. This is the latest in EMF's Pony Express line. And where Pony Express revolvers were originally for mounted shooters, and therefore they were in 45 Colt caliber, because mounted shooters fire 45 Colt blanks, uh, this gun is chambered in 357 Magnum, which means it takes the most popular cartridge for cowboy action shooters today, the 38 Special. And it's, it's quite a neat little gun. So let's take a look at it and then we'll make it go bang. Well, the Pony Express uh, was originally intended for mounted shooting, as I said, 45 Colt. This one is in 357 Magnum slash 38 Special. So it's clearly aimed at the ground pounding SAS contingent. Uh, and it's, it's a very interesting gun. I'm gonna point out some of its features. It's obviously very striking looking. It's a stainless steel gun, which is a great maintenance free finish that mimics 19th century nickel. But uh, we'll just briefly run through some of the features, both good and bad on, uh, on the Pony Express. The Pony Express is made by Pieta uh, for EMF. And it's part of their Great Western II line. And we can see when we compare it to the standard Great Western II that's on the bottom, that it has the same frame size, but it comes in a much smaller package. And it has a couple of very distinguishing features. Obviously, the Pony Express has a much shorter barrel than a standard single-action army revolver. Uh, a single action army, the smallest kind of stock barrel length is four and three quarter inches. And on the Pony Express, the barrel is three and a half inches, which kind of puts it into the sheriff's model class of revolvers. But it has an ejector assembly. And that short barrel means that the ejector assembly can only be uh, about two and a half inches long. And that causes a bit of a problem because as you can see in this picture, you can't actually pull the base pin out far enough to either get the base pin out or to allow the cylinder to come out for cleaning. Now I know that some of you smokeless powder shooters are probably saying, what is this cleaning thing you speak of? Uh, but needless to say, as a black powder shooter, I clean them all the time, but I even clean my smokeless powder guns and believe me, it'll benefit. It's kind of like buying a new Cadillac and never changing the oil. I mean, guns need to be cleaned. Uh, and you can't do it on this one without doing some significant disassembly. So if you want to get the cylinder out of the Pony Express for cleaning, uh, what you have to do first is remove the ejector assembly. And all you need for that is a properly fitting screwdriver. Uh, and I would recommend you invest in a good gunsmith screwdriver because if you're going to clean the gun a lot, you'll be pulling this out a lot. Now, luckily, it has a really good threaded boss that's dovetailed into the barrel, so it's a very strong arrangement. Uh, not like a lot of replicas that just drill a hole in the side of the barrel and thread it, uh, which would be really bad for a gun where you have to remove the, the ejector assembly as much as this one. So that's kind of the first thing to know, is that the ejector assembly got to come off every time you want to thoroughly clean the gun. Now the other really prominent visual feature are the grips, uh, which essentially mimic the grips on a Colt Model 1877 double action revolver, also known as the Lightning or the Thunderer, uh, depending on caliber. And, and of course, these are very cool looking grips. They never went on a single action army, but that doesn't take away from the cool factor. And if you're a small handed shooter, this can really be a benefit. If you're a big handed shooter, yeah, they're still not bad grips, uh, but if you got a lot of hand, that's not a lot of grip. Uh, I still kind of like them, though I prefer the standard plow handle grips of a regular uh, single action army, but these are definitely cool, and, and they get high, high points for a good look. And instead of the upswept hammer spur that you would find on a standard single action army, the uh, Pony Express has a turned down hammer. And it's also available in a Bisley hammered version, which I think is incredibly cool looking. Uh, but this turn down hammer is something that's very popular with mounted shooters because they have to shoot one hand to control the horse. And it just makes it easier for your thumb to hit that hammer uh, if you're shooting dual style, you know, just with a single hand. 
and, and it really is kind of nice. It never existed in history, but it's it's a good feature. It's a nice performance feature. Uh, the Pony Express also has what EMF calls a competition trigger. It's wider than a normal single action trigger, and it's much more deeply curved, and it will give you more control on the trigger and lower the perceived trigger pull weight. Uh, I really like this trigger, and, and in fact, this is something I'd be willing to put on some of my other single actions as, as a custom touch, uh, because it really is a great trigger. EMF's 38 caliber Pony Express has a high level of intrinsic accuracy. Uh, these are, are just two typical groups, so the only two groups I shot for photographic record. And to be honest with you, I usually shoot two targets like this, and I photograph the best one. But they were pretty much the same. Uh, I mostly shot two inch groups and less with this gun. And that's from 15 yards, uh, and that's pretty good. And I shot the Pony Express with quite a few different kinds of ammo, including black powder loads, which you'll see uh, mostly in this video. And it shot them all into two inches or less, I mean, sometimes one and a half inch groups for some brands of ammo. Very good. Uh, the only problem is it shot everything 11 to 12 inches below the point of aim. And, you know, I would not consider that a problem on my own gun, but it's kind of a problem for me with a test and evaluation gun I've got on loan. Of, of all the ways that a gun can not shoot to point of aim right out of the box, shooting low is the absolute best situation you can have. In fact, if this was my personal gun, I would prefer it to shoot low out of the box because the fix is simply to file down the front sight until you're throwing them exactly where you want them. And that means you can get it sighted in exactly the way you want for the load you're using just by using a file. Uh, because if it's shooting high, you're totally screwed. You've got to put a, a higher front sight on. So it's a pretty easy fix. But since this was a loaner gun, even though the folks at EMF are wonderful people and always treat me great, they probably would not be happy to get this gun back with the sight filed halfway off. So I just had to use a lot of holdover. So this gun is fully capable of shooting groups like this, but what I'd like you to keep in mind as you're watching the rest of the video is in order for me to shoot groups like that, I've got to estimate my holdover by about a foot all the while I'm shooting, which if you've never done that, it's nerve wracking uh, and it, it definitely has an impact on your shooting. So I'm making excuses right up front, but uh, I just want you to know. If it was mine, I'd just file it off and I would love it. Well, Evil Roy is up to his old tricks, so let's take the Pony Express and teach him a lesson. Well, one of the questions I get asked a lot when I'm shooting single action revolvers with black powder cartridges is, won't those guns handle smokeless cartridges? And the answer is, of course they will. And I'll just demonstrate it. These are fully modern firearms. I've got uh, Federals, American Eagle, 38 Specials. And we'll just load them up. And they are capable of shooting any 357 Magnum or 38 Special factory load out there. So, just get them loaded and I'll go demonstrate it. So we just loaded the Pony Express with the uh, Federal American Eagle smokeless rounds and let's just put them on Old Roy and see how he does.
And as you can see, gun has no problem with it. I got a problem, but not the gun. Well, Paper Pete and his outlaw gang have stopped the train. And they're making their way to the express car to rob the gold shipment. As special railroad police, it's up to us to stop them. Can't let you have that gold, Pete. Good work, we saved the gold shipment. I will finish up with the bad guy's view of EMF's Pony Express revolver.